37th today in the uh, 15K individual event world championships, your second world championship event ever. You had four misses, four misses today, which was actually outstanding shooting today overall. How did you feel out there? Can you talk about the shooting a little bit? Yeah, the shooting was just, it was everything I could hope for. I, uh, you know, I started off at the first stage and just felt, you know, pretty comfortable, pretty confident in my prone shooting and kind of questioned what the standing would be like, especially with, you know, it's still a little windy, today, even though it was rescheduled from yesterday's uh, windstorm. But, uh, you know, after the second stage, I felt like, well, I got another prone stage and we'll just see what happens on the last standing stage. And after that last shot went down in standing, I just, I was so, so excited. I couldn't even contain it. I mean, it was like the perfect scenario for me at this point in my career. It was awesome. Did that help you get around the loop on a, on a tough course like this, on a, on a long course? How, how did that final loop feel skiing? Yeah, I mean, definitely. I, I've, I've learned that there's a, it's a little bit of an adrenaline surge, especially leaving the stadium after that last shot. And uh, I think it lasted probably a good, uh, a good kilometer. And then I kind of went, whoa. I still have another couple K to go, and <laughs> definitely uh, it was a tough, pretty tough course today. So uh, I felt it, but the adrenaline surge is awesome. And yeah, I mean, ultimately getting around that last loop, I know I was trying, I was fighting for top 30, and it, you know, I don't know how tight it was in there and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I mean, it was it was a tough last loop, but definitely helped after all that good shooting. That's great. Ski time was filling the top 30, and your shooting was great. Your range times were a little slow, but uh, for a first year shooter, that's fantastic. Can you talk a little bit about your range times and the work that you've been put into that? Yeah, uh, you know, it's been, that's that's the hard thing, it's kind of a give and take situation. Uh, with the one minute penalty though, for we missed shot today, I figured that probably taking a little extra time on the range wouldn't hurt in the long run. Uh, I definitely realized that I could miss a whole lot more and just be a whole lot further out. So it was worth it today. Take it a little cautiously and it'll just get faster and faster the more I practice, I think. And you turned it on in the skiing. Again, you had a top 30 ski time. How did you feel overall skiing today? Uh, you know, actually, today I didn't feel quite quite as good as I have in uh, other 15K races that I've skied. Sometimes that happens, though. It seems like, you know, it's kind of a funny mix between feeling good skiing and feeling too good skiing. Sometimes the better I feel skiing, shooting doesn't really together for me. And I think it's been almost a week since my last race. So sometimes I, you know, it kind of takes a race to get the feeling back in your legs to go real spunky again. But I have to say, I can't, you know, I'm not disappointed in World Championships. Top 30 skiing is pretty awesome, and hopefully it'll just get faster as well. Great job, Caitlin, and good luck in the rest of these competitions.